Hey everyone, we have gotten more card reveals again. These ones are very exciting as we had a couple of priest cards revealed uh, by Japanese player and creator uh, Eorjuru. And I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, and we also had via a GameSpot article, we had some shaman cards revealed. Of course, those will be linked below. And I have also a giveaway going on for some bundles. You can find that information towards the end of the video. But for now, let's take a look at these cards, starting with this Priest Legendary. Okay, let's look at this. Sister uh, Svalna. It is a 6 mana, 6-6 six, six undead. Battle cry permanently add a Vision of Darkness to your hand. And a vision of darkness is this three mana shadow spell that says discover a shadow spell and then this stays in your hand so this vision of darkness will always remain in your hand it can i believe get stolen uh with maybe like theater effects things like that but wow i mean otherwise like this is an incredibly powerful legendary being able to play this, you have it as a battle cry, so you immediately get this Vision of Darkness spell, and every turn you can use this, or repeatedly you just use this to discover shadow spells, seems very, very strong. Uh, the ability to create that, yes, you're going to have to pay that three mana every time you want to use it, though, so that's kind of the little bit of downside, uh, but... You are getting to discover shadow spells, and I'm sure there's ways to make his spells cheaper that people are going to be using with this, uh, potentially even copying it. Now, again, a change that they made a while ago, uh, you won't be able to discover another vision of darkness. So uh, it's, you're not going to be able to do this like a whole bunch of times back to back or something. But this is still, I think, going to create a lot of potential and be a very powerful card. The other card that was revealed was Crystal Smith Cultist, a one mana one two battle cry. If you're holding a shadow spell, gain plus one plus one. Yeah, okay, well, that works really well with the legendary we just uh, saw because Visions of Darkness is a shadow spell, anyways. So, um, but you know, I feel like there's still enough shadow spells that if you're playing this, you're gonna have shadow spells. The way, one mana two three seems pretty solid. Uh, also, just to have another good one drop in Priest, I think, is very, very good. Now, moving into Shaman cards, we have Overlord Drakuru, a 9 mana 6 8 with Rush and Wind Fury. After this attacks and kills a minion, resurrect it on your side. <laughs> this card is so much fun. Uh, at least for one player, <laughs> it will be. Uh, it's, it is a little expensive and maybe a slightly weak body compared to its cost uh, for playing it. But again, a very powerful effect there. Um, this does mean that you're not going to really be able to kill large minions like 8-8s eight necessarily. Uh, you know, maybe like attacking into an opponent, Anixia or something. You will have to have done damage to it beforehand. Uh, it's just a very interesting card. I think there are definitely some uh, potential opportunities for this card. Even being able to clear up some smaller or medium-ish type minions, or just clearing up some small things, then evolving this. I mean, there's a ton of potential. There might be potential to even add attack and or health onto this. So lots of options with this one. I really actually do like this legendary quite a bit. Then we have Blight Blood Berserker, an eight mana, three, eight undead with Taunt, Lifesteal, Reborn. Then it has a Death Rattle, deal three damage to a random enemy. This one is really, really interesting. Uh, the fact that it has Taunt and the Lifesteal together is typically very good. It doesn't have necessarily the highest attack there. Uh, it does have a pretty decent health, you know, which we kind of generally see a lower attack, higher health for these kind of Taunt minions. Yes, yeah, sure, there is a lot of potential here, but also at the same time, this costing 8 feels 
like it's a very heavy cost for this. I'm not completely sold on this card on its own. Then we have a 10 mana shadow spell from the other side. Summon a copy of each minion in your hand. They attack random enemy minions, then die. Wow. <laughs> okay. Very costly, but summoning copies. Uh, so it's not pulling the minions out of your hand. It's summoning a copy of them. It does give a little bit of info to your opponent. But being able to essentially use this as removal for your opponent's minions, get any like death rattle effects, uh, all of that very powerful potentially. That 10 mana though is a bit costly. So I'm really curious to see if people actually do try this. Because uh, I, I do feel like to really get the good value from this, you will want some like good and probably more costly minions in your hand. So also to have a, you know, kind of build a deck where you want a 10 cost spell and like later game minions in your hand means you might not be doing much the first part of the game. And sometimes that might mean that you're just dead. So I, I don't know. I think this seems like a really cool card in terms of actually being like kind of competitive, viable in standard, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Then we have Prescience, a four mana shadow spell again. Draw two minions for each that costs five or more. Summon a two, three spirit with taunt. Uh, this seems pretty fantastic. Draw, I think, is especially something that Shaman has really, really missed. And four mana to draw two minions just flat <laughs> and then have a potential bonus on top of that seems very, very good. So I think this card seems pretty fantastic. And I mean, even if you don't really get the taunt minions out of it, still seems like you are getting value out of this card. So I think this one is actually very, very good. Some of them maybe not thrilled on, but a few of these seem very powerful for sure. I'm really intrigued to see where they will fit and how people will try to like build decks around these cards. But on their own, some of these seem extremely, extremely good. I am kind of excited for these, but let me know in the comments below if you like any of these. And if you are looking for information on that giveaway, Blizzard did give me three bundles to be able to give away. So uh, those bundles are 60 packs, uh, two random legendaries, and that card back. I have the link in the description below. And uh, you have until Wednesday, November 23rd at 8 p.m. Mountain Time to enter that giveaway. Multiple ways to enter. So go ahead and enter that giveaway. I will be picking the winners uh, just a little bit after that giveaway ends. So thank you everyone who has entered so far. I hope that everyone has been enjoying these videos. And, you know, since I loved these cards so much, let's go back and look at some of my favorite Frost cards as well. So go ahead and check out this video next, and I will see you in the next one.